Hey everybody, welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. Today I'm going to bring you a little something that's a little bit outside the box. Um, I was searching through Amazon, just taking a look around like I normally do every day, and this blaster I came across actually caught my eye. And why? Because it had 35 reviews, and out of the 35 reviews it was rated 4.5 stars. So here is the New Island Space Wars Blaster. Let's check it out. Space Wars Blaster actually comes with everything you see here. A pack of 10 darts with 5 suction and 5 regular type head darts. It's got a little cheap cardboard target that you can hang with a string through that little piece of the black flap up on the top. And of course it comes with the blaster itself. <clears throat> Alright, the blaster actually looks kind of cool. It looks like a little bit of a Space Age Boomco plasma pistol. And I actually really like this, um, the style. It's very comfortable, the grip's comfortable, trigger pull's nice. And to prime it, you actually just pull back on this piece here, and it's kind of like a fire strike in the front, but with one dart up here with two for storage down here. So let's go ahead and take one of their darts, their suction cup darts, and load it. It sticks out a little bit. Primed it. Go. Let's try this one. See if it shoots elite darts. Oh, look at that. It's actually shooting the zombie green darts. That's kind of nice. Very. Okay, one thing I want to quickly point out if you look, the darts straight out of the package, the blue ones with the suction cup darts, the, bent, the ends are really deformed, so it doesn't make loading the blaster very easy. A lot of times the darts will turn around and pop right out. Um, from the air restrictor. Now the orange darts, they are pretty good. They held their form pretty well, but the foam is definitely a lesser quality than the Nerf darts. Okay, so I know what most people are thinking already. For $11.99, I might as well just go get a fire strike, and that's perfectly fine. They do the same thing. They load one at a time, two in storage, and they prime basically almost the same. But here's what makes this blaster stand out a little bit. It's got a modular concept building block design. So what do I mean by that? Actually, this blaster actually comes apart, and you don't have to take off any of these screws. You just actually slide them right off, and the pieces actually snap right in. So as you can tell, you're basically breaking down the entire weapon <laughs> into like a 3D type of puzzle. So it's perfect for young people, young kids getting into Nerf. So if your kid's like six or five and four, like my kid's going to have a ball with this, trying to put this blaster together, and it's really cool. And as you can tell, this blaster actually has rails cut out, so it basically just snaps on like a cinch. You know, it just snap it right on, the grip, line them up, snap it right on, snap it right, whoops, Man. well there is sort of like a little bit of an order you got to do, and I'll get it figured out here in a second, I haven't done it that many times yet to show you guys, but I mean, this is pretty cool, and i tell you the truth, it's, it's really sturdy plastic, well made, like the paint scheme, priming mechanism is perfect, it shoots nerf darts from what I could tell already, so, you know, overall, I gotta say, they're bringing a new concept and a new type of way to think about blasters, and I like that. So, let's get on to some firing tests and see how this thing performs. Alright, let's take some shots, 20 feet away, as always, you guys know the deal. We're going to shoot all elite darts. I'm not even going to bother shooting the darts that came with it anymore. Here's a off-brand suction cup dart. Shot pretty good. I mean, 20 feet. I think this is a great blaster for a beginner if a parent's a little nervous to give their kid a Nerf gun. I mean, it shoots just weak enough. Where, you know, you don't have to really worry too much. I mean, I'd still wear eye protection, but... But I gotta tell you, the modular design and the fact that it's almost like a puzzle to put together, I find that very interesting, especially since I'm a parent and I have a son, who I like to kind of mix in a lot of educational stuff with what I do normally. So, um, I think this blast will be perfect for him. Whoops. Is this going to take the place of a strong arm, a side strike, a fire strike, or anything like that? No. I would kind of put the performance based on more like a clear strike, maybe a little better. But um, you can use that for your own judgment. All right, 
ladies and gentlemen, my opinion of the blaster is, you know what, I really wasn't expecting much, so to get what I got out of this, I gotta say it's pretty cool. 50 feet per second, or 48.5 feet per second if you want to get technical, it does shoot elite darts, that's pretty cool, and the concept of how you break it down and put it back together is quite unique. So for a son like I have, who's about two, you know, hey, this thing's gonna be great for him. Will it take the place of a strong arm or a hammer shot? You know, no. But try to consider what it is. Um, so I'll put a buy link in the description if you're interested. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys again next time on the CJ Nerd Channel.